President Donald Trump told reporters at the annual G7 summit in Quebec, Canada, that he would stop trading with some U.S. allies unless the terms are fair. President Donald Trump said Saturday at the Group of Seven summit in Quebec, Canada, that the United States would stop trading with some of its closest allies unless they change what he believes to be unfair trade policies. Speaking to reporters at the annual G7 meeting, the president said that totally eliminating trade barriers between the nations would be the ultimate thing, and that's the way it should be. He called many current tariffs on U.S. goods and services ridiculous. We're like the piggy bank that everybody's robbing, and that ends, the president said. He later said, it's going to stop or we'll stop trading with them. And that's a very profitable answer, if we have to do it, at POTUS, tariffs are going to come way down. We're like the piggy bank that everybody's robbing, and that ends. Pick.twitter.com slash 1K8IXXN, Fox News, at Fox News, June 9, 2018 Although Trump said the trade talk was not contentious, his comments come amid a tense few days with multiple world leaders over Trump's decision to impose steel and aluminum tariffs on the country's biggest trading partners, Canada, Mexico and the European Union. Trump's tariffs initially went into effect in March, aimed specifically at China, but the White House announced in May that the three allies would no longer be exempt from the taxes. Canada, Mexico and the European Union all threatened retaliatory tariffs after their exemption status was lifted. Canadian Prime Minister Justin Trudeau and French President Emmanuel Macron spoke candidly about pushing Trump to reverse his position on the tariffs. Macron told reporters that while Trump may not mind U.S., Isolation, neither do we mind signing a six-country agreement if need be, American jobs are on the line because of his actions and because of his administration, Trudeau said at a news conference Thursday, when we can underscore this, and we see that there's a lot of pressure within the U.S., perhaps he'll revise his position. The American president may not mind being isolated, but neither do we mind signing a six-country agreement if need be. Because these six countries represent values, they represent an economic market which has the weight of history behind it and which is now a true international force. HTTPS colon slash slash t.co slash ua86 footjoes, Emmanuel Macron, at Emmanuel Macron, June 7, 2018. Trump fired back at the world leaders, attacking both Trudeau and Macron on Twitter the day before the summit. Please tell Prime Minister Trudeau and President Macron that they are charging the U.S. Massive tariffs and create non-monetary barriers, Trump said Thursday on Twitter. The EU trade surplus with the US is $151 billion, and Canada keeps our farmers and others out. Look forward to seeing them tomorrow. The president also called Trudeau indignant on trade and accused Canada of charging the US. Up to 300% on dairy. Prime Minister Trudeau is being so indignant, bringing up the relationship that the U.S. and Canada had over the many years and all sorts of other things, but, but he doesn't bring up the fact that they charge us up to 300% on dairy, hurting our farmers, killing our agriculture, Donald J. Trump, at Real Donald Trump, June 7, 2018 British Prime Minister Theresa May reportedly put pressure on Trump as well in a 30-minute phone call Thursday. May told Trump his tariffs were unjustified and deeply disappointing, according to the BBC. Some analysts are concerned that the 25% tariff on steel imports and the 10% tariff on aluminum imports will result in a trade war with some of the United States' largest allies. Mexico already imposed tariffs on pork legs, apples, grapes and cheeses the week before the G7 summit, the U.S. Distilled Spirits Council sent a letter to Commerce Secretary Wilbur Ross over concerns Trump's tariffs might hurt the country's liquor exports, Reuters reported Thursday.
The council is concerned that 46% of global spirits exports could be subject to retaliatory tariffs, sales worth an estimated $759 million, related coverage Emmanuel Macron throws down Trump Twitter gauntlet. Over tariffs Trump wants Russia back in the G7 First Lady won't accompany President to G7 or Singapore Download Do you have information you want to share with HuffPost? Here's how.